I'll bring them by you. As muskie hunters, we spend long days on the water. We're always looking for something to help make muskies more predictable. And I'm with Jeff Lang, co-founder of Blue Sky Inventions, and Jeff and his partner design the Muskie Hunter TV app. And Jeff tells me that this app is gonna help us catch more muskies. Is that true? I'm telling you, this is the next frontier. What we've got here is we're focusing in on the biometrics of the muskie. What we wanna know is how are the conditions impacting the fish so that as we're actually out there spending time on the water, we can adjust our behavior to match what they're feeling and improve our success. All right, well, let's just go check it out and see if it works. The Muskie Hunter, brought to you by Yeti Coolers, Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, Ontario, Canada, Shimano, Power Pro. Mercury Outboards, Ranger Boats, Joe Booker Outdoors, Musky Mayhem Tackle, Motor Guide, and Musky Innovations. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z Series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. I use the flip daily. I'm fishing all the time in all types of conditions from snow to rain to super dry and hot days. Having a product that can not only work as a cooler for me but also as a dry bag is super important. It's kind of like a puzzle in my boat. I can plug in one size like the 12 and then the 18 goes here. It keeps my boat big and it makes my day on the river that much more enjoyable. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. The V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Biometrics are all those factors, those environmental factors that trigger muskies to make them more active. So that could be the moon, the sun, the wind, the humidity, all those factors. And Jeff, you've taken that and you've kind of put all that into that activity gauge, right? Right, so what we're trying to do is take those triggers, the trigger ID you're talking about, and anticipate them. And so we know there are things that are happening in the environment that we call biometrics that actually will fire the triggers on those fish. And so what we want to do is capture those triggers as much as possible and roll them all up because there's a lot of things to keep track of and keep an idea on it in terms of how active is the fish and in the, are we predicting the fish will be by the gauge. All right, let's get one here. Wind blowing into this point. This is kind of a classic looking musky kind of situation. Where are you, big girl? You're back here somewhere. Come on, girl, where are you? Where are you? Could be right out here. There's one. Nice. Got him. The weight of the boat coming. I'll bring them up towards you, I think. Look like a pretty good fish. Yeah. Uh, like all this weight of the momentum of the boat coming. Come on up here, Jeff. There we go. 
Oh yeah. Got him. Got him. Yeah. There it is. Nice. Nice. Wow. Look at these overcast guys. I just saw that shadow coming in, made a turn, and all of a sudden there he was. You know, guarding the point. Coming in with the wind, right on the point. Awesome. And this fish has got some beautiful markings on him. Just gorgeous, man. This, hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna let you go. Ow. Bit me. I didn't need that. Biting. Ooh, that's oh, that's a nice yeah. looking fish. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Awesome. It's all coming together. Overcast conditions. There she goes. Nice. Nice. Bit. She's the gatekeeper on the bay. She let you know that. She can get a little bite. <laughs> One of the things that's really unique about the Muskie Hunter TV app is that it's seasonal and that you've got all these different biometric factors that go into the activity gauge. And, and Jeff, you know, in the springtime, it's geared more for southwest winds and warming trends going up. And in the fall, it's ge geared more towards colder weather, northwest winds, maybe dropping temperatures, and the little warming trends aren't as good. So all that's different than it's already programmed in there. That's right, that's right. I think as we uh, started to learn more and more about how we could actually um, put this together. What we decided was that we'd bring in the factors of the actual seasons. So in the summer when you got a lot uh, higher running metabolism because of the uh, warmer water temps, then we'll, um, we'll weight the, the algorithm to favor those types of um, kind of high activity situations like pressure changes, things like that. When you start talking about the springtime, it won't take the same kind of weight because those fish might be either pre-spawn or post-spawn and have other kind of factors. And so what we want to do is weight it so that it, it is more effective for that time of the year. We all fish a lot of different musky lures, but one of the things you really need to consider is hook diameter and hook size. Take a look at these two shallow raters, and I catch a lot of muskies on both of them. And this seven inch shallow raider has much smaller diameter hooks. And one of the advantages of that is I fish this lure a lot slower. It's a more subtle action. And a lot of times when the fish hit it, they're not real active, and that's what I'm throwing it. So the smaller hooks with thin diameter helps me boat more fish. The larger shallow raider is much larger, has much larger, heavier diameter hooks, and the advantage there is I'm fishing this lure in big wind and much more aggressive motion when the fish are much more active. So think about the situation you're fishing a particular lure. If it's a lure you're fishing where the action is very subtle, trying to trigger a strike from a muskie that's kind of finicky, that's when you need thinner diameter hooks. Or our condition's great and you're fishing a big lure real aggressively, that's when you need thick diameter hooks. That's going to be really, really important for not only triggering a strike, but landing a muskie. Ox don't care if it's hard work. Ox don't care if it's rough ground. Ox don't care if it's a heavy load. Nothing outworks an ox. The Ox from Tracker Off-Road. A breakthrough American value at $57.99 plus freight. From bass and walleye to crappie and the great outdoors, you deserve more than old school aluminum. Reward yourself with the quality, performance, and extra room in a Ranger aluminum design. Packed with features, these rigs carry an ultra smooth dry ride and stable platforms. Experience a Ranger aluminum boat today. It's built to excel and priced to be yours. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. 
unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. The V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. The muscle memory of a million casts fires again and again. As natural as every breath that I take. I can't stop. Just one more cast, strike, fight. Wow, look at that one. I live for the pursuit. Introducing the all new Tour Series, the only true cable steer trolling motor with GPS anchor. With the impact breakaway and rugged metal outer column you need, the Zero Flex metal foot pedal you want, and traditional cables that provide smooth, responsive steering. All built with the industry's most powerful lift assist system. Truly universal, high definition integrated sonar imaging, and the industry's most accurate pinpoint GPS anchor. Now that's tournament grade. That's Motor Guide Tour. Where's the dream destination of all musky anglers? Ontario. And for good reason, it's loaded with giant muskies. Ontario has hundreds of waters with thousands of spots loaded with trophy muskies waiting for you. Don't fight the crowds. Explore the waters of Ontario. Fish alone and get back in touch with nature. Ontario, it's the place where musky dreams come true. To find out more about my favorite Ontario musky waters, check out GoFishInOntario.com. Megan McGregor from Peterborough, Ontario, caught and released this 49-inch muskie from Lake St. Clair. Oh, there we go. Slow down. There you go. Keep him. Got a nice, nice fish. He turned on it. Yep. yep. Big turn. Nice and easy. Accelerated and he like that a second, you know. Uh -huh. One of the things about the biometrics concept is everybody starts to think immediately about what that means to them at that moment. So current current conditions, current situation. But the other thing about biometrics that can really help a fisherman is understanding and timing the changes of those biometrics. So when do they go from being a, like a mediocre and, and say just kind of middle of the road to really hot? That's what everybody thinks about. But it could also be really helpful to understand if you're running in a, in a good uh, biometrics and your biometrics are running pretty hot, you might want to time it if it looks like they're about to change and, and cool off. So if you've got an active fish and you're seeing your biometrics might actually slow down, you might want to get out there, get on that fish and give it a, a try before all of your conditions change. Check this out. If you see these little tassels sticking out of the water, which really what this is, is this red tobacco cabbage. It looks just like this in patches. And sometimes it's as big as your boat. Sometimes it's twice as big as your boat, but a spot like this will hold muskies. It'll hold them under primo conditions. It will really hold them under post funnel conditions. When things are really cold, they'll come off the rocks and suck into a weed bed. So pick apart an area like this, make extra casts, because more than likely you'll find muskies. Oh, oh yeah. No, it was me. I just came out of nowhere. Is that the same fish? No, a different one. That's what I thought. One. It looks a little bit smaller. He's on it. Oh yeah, still there. Still there. Oh yeah. Still there. Still there. <laughs> wow, 
Welcome to Lake of the Woods, Jeff. I, she, I mean, <laughs> she came back and twice on that outside corner, she, oh, right there. What in the world? Well, here's another great thing to have inside a bay. Big fallen tree. You could hold several fish. You gotta throw, pick it apart like anything else and it's that one thing that can hold them. The best two colors have been nickel over black and blue silver. And then um, the last hour or so of light, it seems like the black black. Um, and then, uh, you know, some kind of chartreuse pattern has been, been really good. I mean, talk about great biometric conditions. We are in Lake of the Woods, full moon period, where today the moon is gonna be rising as the sun is setting and it's warm. It's the evening on Lake of the Woods. And for me, Jeff, this is money. Yeah, this doesn't get any better than this. We've got the, like you mentioned, the moon. It is the full moon period. Sun's going down on the, on the horizon. We're coming in on some fish that we saw. We took a look ahead. We see a dip in pressure coming. So this is, this is perfect. We gotta keep at it. I think we're gonna pull something out. Bring him by you. <laughs> Crazy, Jeff. <laughs> we called it. You taking her to the other side? I think so. Okay. Yeah, come on up by me. If I can get her around. It's a good fish. Yeah. That's a nice looking fish. Nice! Yeah! There it is. All right. We'll take it. All right. All right. Beautiful. Oh. I mean, awesome conditions in the early evening. Warm. All the biometrics are right. And nice musky. Where'd it go? Yeah. Oh, sweet fish. That was an awesome strike. Keep straight up. I mean, I was just bringing that, bringing that cowgirl in, and all of a sudden, I, I could just see it. And I just saw a mouth. And it mm -hmm. was just like, I, I was about to go, I couldn't even go fish. I was like, oh. couldn't believe what happened. Kind of came in from the deep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There, nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that, I'll get a photo. Yeah. Look at that. Beauty. Outstanding. Whoa! <laughs> he still had lots of energy left. Awesome. As you can see on here, the moon is, is just, a, just underneath the horizon. The top of the moon is just starting to come up. Our biometric score is exactly uh, where we wanted it to be. And sure enough, uh, Jim pulled that fish, so it's just coming together right when the sun is going down. <sighs> Love it. <laughs> Prediction. If you want to catch more muskies on a figure eight, focus on the transition into the figure eight. Now what I mean by that is as the lure comes up to the boat, and it's coming in, don't just bring it straight in and then make a 90 degree L turn to go into your figure eight. That's way too abrupt. What you wanna do, if you're gonna make your first turn to the right, is you wanna swing your rod to the left as the lure approaches the boat. So as you're bringing it in, you swing your rod tip to the left, the lure goes to the left, now you go to the right and make those big turns. A smooth transition like this, where as the lure approaches the boat, you come in and you swing wide with your rod and then go into the turn like that. That gets the muskie initiated to the turn, much further away from the boat. Then he'll focus on the lure. You can get a really good shot at getting him at boat side. You wanna catch more muskies on a figure eight, work on that transition and that'll make it happen. I use the flip daily, 
I'm fishing all the time in all types of conditions from snow to rain to super dry and hot days. Having a product that can not only work as a cooler for me, but also as a dry bag is super important. It's kind of like a puzzle in my boat. I can plug in one size, like the 12, and then the 18 goes here. It keeps my boat big, and it makes my day on the river that much more enjoyable. Ox don't care if it's hard work. Ox don't care if it's rough ground. Ox don't care if it's a heavy load. Nothing outworks an ox. The Ox from Tracker Off-Road. A breakthrough American value at $57.99 plus free. Ontario, Canada, the breathtaking scenery, the incredible wildlife, the endless sunsets, and the muskies. Ontario, Canada is home to the greatest musky waters in the world, and giant muskies are awaiting your next cast. Explore the waters of Ontario and catch your personal best. To find out more about my favorite Ontario waters, check out GoFishInOntario.com. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. The V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. It's time for the Yeti Tough Moment. Muskies are unpredictable creatures. However, the Muskie Hunter television app makes life easier by considering an assortment of factors to predict when activity may be high. Jim and Jeff had several muskies located earlier in the day, and when the app indicated a peak in muskie activity was about to happen, they returned to a spot where they had raised a big muskie. The fish crushed Jim's cowgirl, and the rest was history. Now that's Yeti Tough. I think you and I have been working on this algorithm for biometrics for what, going on four or five years. And there's a, probably about at least 20, maybe 25 scenarios that come to life in the biometrics. So they're the things you would think of, the moon, the sun, um, sun rising, sunset, but also includes the phase of the moon, um, but then also starts to include things like the weather. So uh, barometric pressure is included, humidity is included, wind speed, wind direction, um, a recent change of speed or direction, um, and then cloud cover. And so what we try to do is bring them all together because uh, honestly, to try to think of that all on your own is getting a little bit crazy. So we put it all inside of the app. Yeah. She was up. Ah, there we go. There we go. Nice job. Oh, and she's off. And she's off. Wow, sneak attack. You know, we came in to fish this weed bed. We were on the outside. We'd seen a real big fish in this spot. We're coming back, and as we're fishing, I noticed there was a little bit deeper fringe weed I didn't expect. So Jeff and I decided, why don't we get inside and cast out? And we did that and picked up a different fish. Not the giant, but we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, it's a good fish. Nice. Nice fish, Jeff. 
It's just barely hooked. But they're all barely hooked, you know how that goes. Okay, come on. Let go of my net. There we go. Yeah, pretty. Nice, yeah, love it. Wow, what a gorgeous fish. Biometrics are moving in the right direction. <laughs> and so are the muskies. Wow, that was awesome. One thing, Muskie Hunter TV app and biometrics and all this, even though you get an app, the reality is you still have to figure out the patterns when you're on the water. You still have to catch them. And right now, the pattern we've been seeing fish in, we've been fishing bays, bays with weeds, bays with big boulders, bays with trees. And then we've also been fishing some extensions off of islands. That's been the two locational aspects of the pattern. And the other part's been catching one cowgirls. Fish? Yep. Yeah! Feisty little guy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Boy, I just felt the rod just get heavy and load when that one. He just must have just overtook it and got it. Oh, got him. Yeah. With the cloud cover changing and the sun going down, I kind of switched blade colors to the chartreuse blades. There we go. Oh, yeah. You gotta love it. Yeah. Nice fish. Great, nice Lake of the Woods muskie. As muskie hunters, we are always looking for an edge. And the Muskie Hunter TV app has some great features that can tell you when the muskies are gonna be active. All you have to do is figure out how to catch them. Join us next week for another big fish adventure on the Muskie Hunter. You turned on it, yep. yep. Oh, got her. Got nice. Got him. Yeah, there it is. Biometrics are moving in the right direction. <laughs> the Muskie Hunter has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. She was two feet down. In the rain, in this bad weather, I can't Dude. see anything. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Here's a back all the great things on the Muskie Hunter television app. Another great feature is you can watch episodes of the television show when they come out. It is a great opportunity. You can watch on your phone, your tablet, anywhere you want to watch.